Hello everyone, welcome to Ruthwick's classroom. In this video, we will be seeing what are the changes happened in LTMC that is migration core pick with the release of 2020 version. So without any further delay, let's start. So till 1909 version, we used to upload uh, master data into the system with the help of migration core pick. So it has saved a lot of time during the implementation and our conversion projects or migration projects. It has saved a lot of time to the consultants where with the simple uh, download template and fill the template and upload concept, the migration core pick has uh, helped us a lot. But when it comes to 2020 version, there are a lot of changes happen to the existing templates and the new uh, objects has been in introduced and all. But the most or important factor which we need to pay attention is the material template. So we are having a material template with the template we can upload the material masters into the system till 1909. But with the version of 2020, the material template has been deprecated. So now there is lot of buzz around the migration cockpit. So how to upload the material master so which process uh, we need to use to upload the material master whether we are uh, square back to lsnw or we can we need to use some uh, baddie functionality or we need to develop any custom program or the, whether there is any workaround uh, around this uh, material uh, template has been absoluted right so it has been deprecated means it, it is available, but if you are trying to use that uh, material uh, deprecated template, you will be getting an error saying that uh, the template does not support. So it is available. So soon it is going to get absoluted. So whether there is any alternative solution or what is the exact scenario? Yeah. So SAP has provided us an alternative solution in LTMC only by changing the template name means not just changing the template name so let's see what is the difference between uh, <coughs> ltmc material template and ltmc that is migration corporate uh, product template what is the difference if we see majorly the new template has been delivered that is uh, product is the new template which we need to use to upload the material master so if you see so in material master template so in the older uh, ltmc material template that is till 1909 version templates we are having this particular sheets that is uh, basic data sheet plan data sheet uh, storage location uh, data and uh, forecast parameters uh, production resource data so like this we are having uh, different different sheets all of uh, let's say 14 sheets are available so <clears throat> the main so the one which is highlighted in yellow is the maintenance uh, status setting so that is we need to activate which uh, view you want to create during uploading the material master with migration corporate right so people who have used this uh, ltmc they might be knowing so once they fill all the sheets uh, relevant sheets then in the last there is a sheet called maintenance status setting where you need to activate which uh, views you want to activate you need to activate a line each uh, sheet by sheet you need to activate but now if you see in the new migration corporate product template so the same old uh, fields which are available will be coming forward but with a little bit of uh, sheets alignment and little bit more uh, detailed view you can get so if you see all the sheets are as it is it will be coming but if you see the one which are highlighted in green are the new sheets which has been introduced in product template so even so previously we are having additional description and alternate unit of measurement also is available but now it has been uh, rearranged to the front so you can see and even uh, plant data has been uh, moved to the seventh uh, sheet so in that way it will available so previously so you can see here so major uh, difference what you can identify is 
the point uh, 14 15 16 sheets that is valuation data valuation uh, current period and valuation future period so all this whether they are new no so they are not new so previously all those sheets data is included in a single sheet in material template that is in accounting data so previously we are having accounting data in that sheet only all the information is available but now it has been uh, differentiated into three different uh, sheets and also uh, we are having a separate uh, sheet for MRP area so where we can maintain MRP area uh, level details and all because uh, after MRP live introduction so we are not having MRP running at storage location level so we can do only at plant level uh, and uh, MRP area level only right so that's the reason so it has been given uh, furthermore uh, details where you can fill furthermore details related to MRP area while uploading the product and also the product is not a new terminology for uh, SAP because in uh, APO uh, scenarios and all we used to call material as product so in order to make a, a single uh, point or we can say to make it as a uh, single solution for all the uh, different different products sap is coming up with this uh, single uh, terminology uh, for all the functionalities so that's the reason so slowly it has been uh, changed the name of material template to the product template so with this product template we can upload the uh, material master like in a previous way itself so let let us see in the system how to uh, fill the product template and upload into the system right yeah so now let us see in the system right so if you see over here so this is the migration corporate so now if you see so now we are having almost like 119 objects which we can uh, upload into the system so previously 1909 version we are having around uh, 85 or uh, 75 if i am not wrong but now every version by version the migration core objects are getting uh, increased so if you see so generically uh, generally previously uh, till 1909 version so if you want to upload material master so simply we used to search for the template called material right so if you search for the template called material the dependence uh, parameter which has to be created prior to creating the material master is profit center right so you can see material deprecated so remaining one exists so material bomb inspections all remaining things are available but the only thing has been a template which has been uh, deprecated and the new uh, object has been delivered that is for the material master only so now the one which you need to search is instead of material so from 2020 version onwards which you need to search is for the product so if you search for the object uh, product so you can identify over here see product so this is the object which need to be used to upload the material master so we'll open uh, to our project and we will download the template and we'll see it. Right. So once you download the template, okay, for the uh, object product, so you'll be able to see the new template. So this is the new template, how it looks. So if you comes to the field, so here you can see, so previously, uh, we are having uh, the terminology called material number so but now in this template will be everywhere it will be mentioned as product number product type right so previously we used to have material number material type right but now it has been changed instead of material the terminology has been changed to the product so that is the only thing which you need to remember and the sheet alignments has been changed okay so if we compare one uh, sheet uh, side by side so this is the template of material so you can see here material deprecated right see so basic data so here you will be having a material number material description material type right and material views 
So as I mentioned, no, so in maintenance uh, material settings, you have to activate which you view you want to activate. You need to maintain it individually. But with the help of this uh, product template, no need to select which uh, view you want. So system will automatically activate that one. So you can see. So description. So product type, product number. So let us see. Uh, with uh, basic information let us fill the template and let us upload into the system right so product name i have given ruthvik choudhury and a material type i have given a foot that is uh, finished industry sector uh, mechanical description uh, language uh, key so i'm just may, uh, filling out the ba basic information Done. so once you complete the basic data here you are having additional description so just uh, previously I have given English and uh, now I am giving a uh, German and the description I have given over here. And next comes the plant data. So here you can see uh, I have given the MRP type. So immediately after coming into the plant uh, uh, data, immediately we are having MRP type and MRP controller parameters. So those information I have given and I have given a little bit of uh, lot sizing uh, quantities also so little bit of lot sizing quantity also I have given out here right so lot sizing quantity also so either you can give in uh, plant data or we are having a dedicated uh, sheet for uh, MRP related information so there also we can give so same content will be there also so next I have extended to my storage location right and here you can see the mrp area so in mrp area you can see the product number mrp area plant assembly scrap right so all again the same information so here also you can give the lot sizing so either in the plant data also you can give the lot sizing or here also you can give the lot sizing right so lot sizing and all the parameters so this just a basic uh, in information i have given so let's save it Right. So once we are ready with the template, okay. So once we are ready with the template, so we'll upload the template what we have prepared. And then uh, once we have uploaded, so we need to activate and then we need to transfer the uh, file. So once we click on uh, start transfer, so system will give you an uh, warning saying that it will take a little bit of time. So I will want to start the migration cockpit. Okay. Yeah. So people who have not worked previously with this migration cockpit. So there is a link in the description. So step by step uh, detailed uh, explanation on how to upload the material master as well as uh, business partner uh, in a step by step sequence it is available so you can look into it. So once the data validation is completed so system will give you an information so if you are having any errors or if you have not maintained the template properly. So you'll be getting an error or warning messages over here in the notification of uh, validation tab. So we are good to proceed further. That is uh, converting values. So first step is data validation. Second step is uh, conversion of values. That means uh, mapping. So one to one mapping we have to do and then in simulation and the final one is export. So already all the values has been uh, mapped properly then uh, let's proceed further simulation mode so once you have done the data mapping then we can proceed to the simulation mode so now we are into simulation mode complete so it is imported so once you click on uh, close uh, the system will uh, give you the final uh, information like the program has been started and everything has been executed and all so once you click on uh, finish then the system will uh, update the data what you have uh, prepared and uploaded into the system will be imported into the system so you can cross check right so basic data
see and in H, so I have given alternate unit of measurement right see, both alternate unit of measurement and then in MRP we have given the lot size and MRP type controller right and uh, next comes the story location data so we have activated even story location so in this way you can see so you can cross check so even though you have uploaded through migration corpic also it will be showing and created by your name right yeah so in that way you can um, yes so in that way you can upload the material into the system by using a template called product in migration corporate uh, hope you like the video thank you for watching and uh, please like and subscribe and also share with others uh, see you soon with another interesting uh, video thank you everyone